All right, everybody, so quick little update. So I just fed the clowns, and it's actually, I'm, a, I'm about to turn off the lights, but the frog spawn fucking solid right there. I know you can't see shit, but there you go. Still solid right there. I think it likes this light for sure, the lower intensity light on the smaller Kessel. And then these guys are doing pretty solid. Look at that. So let's clean the glass. I mean, look at that. And it's because they're under really nice water chemistry. And they got the perfect water flow, the lighting, and everything. And like I said, if I had my other corals that are in the other system... They'll definitely not like this tank because the light's not intense enough and the water flow is pretty weak over here, actually. Alright, bam. Alright, so I cleaned that up. Kinda. Not really, but... I don't know, I feel like I'm getting more better quality video with the Kessel light. Ah, oh, fucking clown. Anyways, this is the the little polyps that Two Souls Radio is was kind of liking these ones. Ah, oh, man. I was going to record them, but the clown kind of made it close up. But uh, this guy... I'm surprised this this guy's kind of alive. I forgot this guy was in there. And then, oh yeah, the Kenya tree. <laughs> I guess it's right there. <clears throat> What's also unique over here? I think there's still some polyps that are alive from that guy, the little Monty. That's crazy. I think I think so. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, they're still alive. I see them. So that's crazy. But I just want to show you guys a quick update on this tank and how it's doing. But look at these polyps. <clears throat> this is my mother colony of the Rastas. Honestly, I think I like the Rastas though. It's more than the Little Shop of Horrors. But depending on what lighting they're at, I think... When they're under castles, maybe the little shop of horrors look a little bit better. But under the new sykes or the noopsies, I think the what's it called? The rosses look better. But even then, I think the rosses look better than the little shop of horrors. But I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. And there's the little baby one right there. But I like how there's not that much algae on them and all that stuff. I am going to take out like that batch of algae right there and all that. But so far, everything's good, guys, with this tank and the little octo spawn. Or I don't know what the fuck it is, but that shit right there, doing good. Anyways, guys, we're just going to give you guys a quick update on this tank, and let's go check out the other systems. Well, let's turn this off. Alright, everybody, so I turned on this light, because right now it's actually the light cycle's off right now. But we're still going to come in here and take a look at all the, the coral. Um, you can you pretty much tell how everything's doing. It's crazy how even at night time everything's out. That's pretty cool. The temperature is pretty warm, so... I think maybe I should try to decrease it.
All right, so I just threw in the the water bottle. We're like at 86 degrees. Um, probably when it gets close to 82, 80-ish, we're going to take it out. All right, everybody, so we're going to go over my new settings because everybody keeps asking me about the light settings because you guys see the coral growth and all that shit. So the new light settings... Alright, let me show you how I get there. Oh, uh, well, you just saw right now. So let me start at... Uh, well, we're off right now. So let me start at, at 1. Okay. Alright, so you see 1. 2. Three, four, five, and six, seven. Eight are at zero, and everything else is at zero. All right. Bam. All right. So the way you get there, you go to K seven one, and then you click it, and then you go where it says A. And it says A, I changed the one that, you could change any of these, alright? But where I went, fuck, my, my, my controller went out. Alright, so go to K1, you go to A, I, I put LPS, okay? And then from LPS, I changed all these, okay? See what I mean? Well, anyways, I changed all those shits. And once you change them, you just press enter and you're good. Okay? But those are my light settings. And then the time, watch, it's gonna go on right now. Oh, actually, it turns on at 9. All right, let's go check it out. Bam. All right, so I just turned it on. So this is the one at nine. And you see how all the polyps are out for the most part. You see what I mean? Bam. See how the temperature kind of fell down. We're at 82. So we're just going to take out the water bottle now. So we're all set there. And we're just going to fix it up. Alright, so if you guys want to see the growth shots of the coral right here. We're going to show you right now at the end of the clip. But you saw that, guys. See, none of my corals are out because the lights were out. So we're just going to shut the lights out and let this thing do their thing. I'm just looking at the different corals. Just got to let them do their shit, you know what I mean? And hopefully they recover. But anyways, guys, much love. And I'll post the, the three-week three week the uh, growth shots all right because these corals have only been in here for about three weeks uh, almost four now next week will be four all right a full month almost but anyways that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, much love and i'll see you guys next time